Ostekinumab is an injectable biologic drug that suppresses the immune system and is used for the treatment of psoriasis. It is an antibody that binds to interleukin-12 and IL-23, two chemicals produced by cells in the body that stimulate immune reactions. Scientists believe that psoriasis is caused by an increase in the production of T-lymphocytes in response to the attachment of a stimulant, such as interleukin, to the lymphocyte. Stimulated T-lymphocytes cause skin cells to grow rapidly, and the rapid growth of the skin cells produces the skin plaques of psoriasis. Ostekinumab reduces symptoms of psoriasis, inflammation and excessive production of skin cells by attaching to IL-12 and IL-23, preventing them from binding and activating T-lymphocytes. In scientific studies, 59% to 73% of patients received an assessment of cleared or minimal psoriasis after 12 weeks of treatment. Ostekinumab was approved by the FDA in September 2009. The most common side effects of ostekinumab are tiredness, upper respiratory tract infections, and headaches. Ostekinumab may reduce the ability of the immune system to fight infections, increasing the risk of infections such as tuberculosis and infections caused by bacteria, fungi, or viruses. Ostekinumab also may increase the risk of certain types of cancer and cause posterior leukoencephalopathy syndrome. RPLS is a rare condition that affects the brain and can cause death. The cause is unknown but if detected early and treated, most people recover. Symptoms may include headache, seizures, confusion, and vision problems. Ostekinumab is injected under the skin. Patients weighing less than 100 kg should receive 45 mg initially, 45 mg for weeks later than 45 mg every 12 weeks. Patients weighing greater than 100 kg should receive 90 mg initially, 90 mg for weeks later than 90 mg every 12 weeks. Drug interaction studies have not been conducted with ustekinumab, however, since ustekinumab suppresses the immune system, it should not be used with other drugs that also suppress the immune system. Live vaccines should not be administered to patients treated with ustekinumab because they may develop active disease from the live viruses contained in the vaccine because of their weakened immune system. Vaccine containing killed virus may not generate an adequate immune response because ustekinumab suppresses the immune system.